Hey Wildcats, welcome back. Quick video today talking about assigning content in STEM scopes. With more and more teachers using STEM scopes in the classroom uh, and looking for activities for students to do, uh, flipping instruction, etc., I uh, thought this would be a good time to talk about how you can assign content to your students individually. So let's get started. So the first thing you do is you're going to log in with your STEM Scopes account uh, into your STEM Scopes account with your username and your password. Um, I don't have any students because I'm in a demo account, so uh, I won't actually be able to assign the lesson, but I certainly want to give you the click progression on how to do that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to click on Scopes. Okay, so once I get to Scopes, um, I get a screen that looks like this. Now, this is a high school account, so the next thing I would do is click on Grade. And if I was elementary, I would see grade levels here. But since this is a high school account, um, I just get subjects. So we're going to pick Biology. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and let's just try Prokaryotic and Eukaryotic cells. Hopefully this will have some assignable content. All right, so what we're looking at, if you look at the breadcrumbs across the top, we get uh, our 5e model. And anything with this blue S down here is something that I could assign. So under Essentials, I could assign the pre-assessment to a student. If I clicked over on Engage, um, I could assign uh, student materials. Under Explore, this is the only thing that I could assign. And then once you get over to explain and elaborate, you see that there's quite a bit of activities over here that you could assign. So I'm going to come over here under, let's do Explore, and we will click um, Student Materials. So once I get uh, Student Materials to come up, um, here is the Student Activity Guide. And what you're going to do is you're going to click Assign to Students. Now, I'm going to click on this button, but I'll probably get an error. Oh, it is going to let me do it. I don't have any students to assign this to, so um, I would go ahead and fill out this section, put in the start dates, add any labels that I wanted to add here, uh, whether it's, sorry about that, whether it's extra credit, homework, or independent practice, do you want to share it with parents, and then just add the assignment. One thing I did want to go back up and point out, if I didn't want to assign it to an entire group of students, and I just wanted to assign it to a specific student, I could come up here and click on this down arrow, and it would let me pick individual students. Now again, I don't have any students attached to this demo account, so that's going to be blank. But that's basically how you do it. Uh, real quick, real easy, excellent way to flip instruction, or if you have a student who's going to be out for quite a while and has internet access, you can certainly keep them current with your content um, just by assigning work through STEM Scopes. Thanks a lot, guys. Give me an email if you have any questions.